Hi everyone, so glad you could join me today here on the Dahlia Society. I have been to the city again and a little shopping trip into the wonderful Tazuti fabrics. I know a lot of you love Tazuti fabrics. So if you stick around till the end of the show, I'm gonna let you see exactly what I've bought and what plans I have I'm gonna take you around the city. I actually took my hubby in there for his birthday just overnight. We stayed in a lovely hotel. And before he finished work, I decided to take a little trip into Tazuti Fabrics on Flinders Lane and kill a couple of hours. And it was just wonderful. It's one of those things that I've been meaning to do for so long now. I have so many favorite fabric stores uh, here in Melbourne. And in particular, Tazuti Patterns and Fabrics is one of my all time favorites for patterns they've got some fantastic patterns and the fabrics are just to die for so i'm sure you're going to enjoy what i've got to show you before i go any further though i must let you all know what i'm wearing and this is the heron shirt by the sewing revival a fantastic pattern i made a couple of these this is the one with a big dramatic sleeve in a lovely cotton lawn fabric just from spotlight so it's a bit more demure and a bit more pastel and soft than what i normally wear i just team mine with a ready to wear chunky gray knit cardigan and uh, yeah, it's one of those really cozy things to wear over the top i had about two hours to spare so i thought what a fantastic opportunity to do some gallivanting around some beautiful shops and tazuti was first on my list and i just have to say i had the most wonderful experience there i'm gonna show you guys on the video you'll see exactly what i mean and of course after being in such a long lockdown last year, it really makes you appreciate all those wonderful shops and restaurants and cafes that Melbourne has to offer. If you don't know anything about Tazuti and you'd like to hear, I'll tell you a little bit of a rundown about what they're all about. Now, one way of finding a great wealth of information about Tazuti is if you go and listen to the Love to Sew podcast. If you've ever been to Tazuti in Flinders Lane, you'll know exactly what I mean about just how gorgeous the setting is. The laneways around there are amazing. Uh, it's right opposite the big Chanel store in Flinders Lane. You can't miss it, but it's actually a level up. So you need to go in the little door and up the staircase and you'll see this beautiful old um, store that's all been decked out in the most luxurious fabrics ever. Tazuti also have a store in Sydney in Surrey Hills. Colette does run the Surrey Hills store in Sydney and her mum Sylvia is the wonderful person behind all these beautiful hand-drawn patterns and uh, Colette's cousin Lisa runs the Flinders Lane store in Melbourne so it's a really great family-owned business and you can really see just the beautiful fabrics they've been hand-picked. I know Colette does get a lot of them, uh, a lot, majority of them are imported from Italy and uh, when you can go around and read all the labels and you can see exactly where the fabrics uh, originated from. I love to see that because the amount of gorgeous silks in there, uh, it's just to die for. They are just so beautiful. Uh, the quality is amazing in everything. In particular, they have a brand new range of boiled wools in this released last week. The color range is just stunning. I'm gonna show you on the video, you'll see exactly just about every color of the rainbow. Their boiled wool from Tazuti is actually imported from Italy. It is the most superior quality. It's a boiled wool that I've actually felt and worn and sewn with. Shinji's gonna join me now. Now last year, I was very lucky to be sent some beautiful boiled wool from Tazuti. Uh, Colette sent me some gorgeous dark green uh, Bosco Bolito, I think the color was, and I made a gorgeous Brooklyn coat from one of their patterns. And I must say it is just soft. Uh, it's warm, but it's not boiling hot. So you really don't even need to line it to get that beautiful warmth there. But the softness of their boiled wool is far better than anything I've actually ever tried before. And it actually does not have that prickly feeling that a lot of boiled wools do. So I can highly recommend uh, the boiled wool. The Liberty lawns are just gorgeous. You'll see so many um, crepe de chines and silks there. Um, so it's really uh, your high-end, beautiful designer brand quality uh, fabric so you really can't go wrong and it's a gorgeous way to treat yourself so I went in and actually met the ladies there now Lisa of course uh, was wonderful the first lady that saw me was Alex she actually uh, recognized me from the channel which was really hilarious now I was chatting with Alex the most gorgeous girl who works in there and she was actually a really big fan of the channel which was really wonderful uh, and we were chatting about what I was planning on making with the fabrics I've bought and uh, it was just it was great to connect 
uh, to someone that had been following the channel. So I really can highly recommend you popping in there to visit the stuff. They're all beautiful. Uh, in particular, big shout out to Alex for helping me with that. Uh, and yeah, so Lisa, of course, runs the Melbourne store and uh, Colette runs the Sydney Surrey Hills store. So uh, make sure you do go and look at that podcast because it really does explain a lot about the history behind Tazuti and how Colin actually started the business. And I think it was just fascinating to hear the ins and outs of um, how her mum actually worked in factories and worked in fashion for years. And I think when she was finishing up with that, she decided to help her mum sell a lot of these fabrics and just the the matter of how quickly that took off. I think it was wonderful that business opportunity popped up in her mind there and she thought she'd give it a go as far as selling selling fabrics so that is how Tazuti was formed. Tazuti also has a brand new pattern just released last week and that's the Naya pants. Naya, Naya, not really sure how to pronounce that but it's a really comfy looking drop crotch um, really lovely baggy style pair of pants. I think everyone that knows Tazuti patterns knows how well drafted their patterns are and just how they just seem to fit perfectly and for myself I know I really love um, making anything from Tuzidi, Tuzidi fabrics and patterns because I know that they're going to fit me and they always have a little bit of an edgy style line or maybe something a bit more unusual so uh, I can highly recommend their patterns as well I've had so much I've made uh, for years from them I think one of my first ever vlogs was on um, the lower stress which I loved and I've made just about all of their coats uh, quite a few of their pants and shirts as well so love Tuzidi patterns too. So I'm going to take you shopping, let you see the store and then I'm going to bring you back here after a bit of uh, traipsing around the city and some beautiful little favourite cafes that we visited. Of course, my favourite in the same street. If you do pop into Tazuti in Flinders Lane, just head down a little bit further and you will find the wonderful Brunetti's Cafe, which is of course the hub uh, for all the most beautiful Italian and continental cakes and coffee. And they also have pizza and Campari as well. It's a really wonderful cafe. Uh, cafe with a beautiful vibe i really um must say oh, we visited every time we go in the city it's one of our favorite places to go and in particular one of the things we love getting there is the lobster tail uh which is a it's not actually a lobster tail at all it's actually a beautiful sweet pastry with layers and layers like almost like crispy croissant and it's filled with this most beautiful um liqueur custard and a cherry on top so we actually purposely go in there just to get these beautiful lobster tail pastries so one of our favorite places but we did do a lot of little arcades of course the block and the rural arcade as well I'm going to show you around there and uh, all my favorite places to stop off so I hope you enjoy it I'll be back shortly to show you exactly what I bought
did you think about that? I hope you enjoyed uh, a little couple of days in the city that we had. Uh, yeah, some great places to visit there in Melbourne. And the fabric, I'm sure you're all dying to see exactly what I bought. Uh, as I say, great, fantastic service there. Um, Alex was really helpful. And I actually was chatting to her about the things I wanted to make. So you may have seen on the video a few things that I pulled out and had a little look at. And the first fabric I bought, I had my eye on line for quite a while, is this beautiful rib fabric called Rollerama Striped rib now this has actually uh, mentioned on the website i've linked it below uh, this needs pre-shrinking before you sew it up so it doesn't mean go and wash it that's one thing she does say on there is make sure you shrink it with an iron first so steam it and iron it first that will tighten and shrink up that rib um, because if anyone's sewn with rib before you can see how finicky it can be and you can sometimes get the wave through it it can stretch out of shape so you want to pre-shrink it first so uh, directions are online there for that but this i think would make a beautiful top just a simple uh a simple top there for wearing underneath maybe layering underneath things and i've got one of their sydney jackets that i made last year the sydney um it's kind of an overcoat like a long cardigan i'll put a picture up for that one i think that'll look gorgeous over just a long sleeve top in that but the colors in that uh, just stunning and right up my alley and you can order online I've linked this fabric below so you can see but the other fabrics I had a little bit of trouble finding but I know you can actually ring the store to pop order through as well so if that makes it any easier or I'm sure you can do things like messaging on um, DMs on Instagram as well so I think you're gonna love looking through the Tazuti website to see what treasures you can find too but I love this fabric it's really bright and fun and I couldn't resist. The next fabric was one of the first ones I actually picked up and it's a beautiful Ponte from their very autumnal winter kind of range there. Now this for a Ponte, I must say, is exceptionally soft. It's got the stretch in it like a normal Ponte has, but it's not thick and heavy and weighty like a lot of Pontes are. It's lovely and light. Um, now this in particular, was a hard one to figure out. Well, I knew I wanted to do something with it. Um, I wasn't quite sure whether I wanted to make it like a pencil style skirt, stretch skirt. And there's also the Tazuti Ponty pants. Um, I think, uh, well, Alex was saying in there she wanted to make a pair of pants herself out of this. Um, I think that would come up beautiful in a pant or a skirt, but also a simple kind of a top. Now, there's also the Lennox sweat top that Tazuti patterns have as well. That's a really nice basic style sweatshirt. There's really so much you could do. And I was even thinking uh, something like maybe the Sydney jacket or the Brooklyn coat because I can see that in a jacket just as much as I can see it in pants. So uh, especially when you think that things like the grey knit with it, I just think it picks up maybe with a rust top underneath or even a little pinafore and that would look really stunning as well. So this had another colourway to install. There was one with a lilac and blue, like an acre blue through it as well. But this was more my autumnal colours. So I'll show you up close. It's um, it's a really lovely quality Ponty and I'm very, very tempted to go and buy the other colourway in it now as well. Um, Alex in the store is actually saying that there's a lovely leopard print, very neutral colour Ponty that she was actually thinking about making a pair of pants as well. So I think it's great when you get chatting to people about figuring out what you want to do with certain fabrics that you've seen and just to see the ideas behind um, what they would um, suggest doing with it. And that can really be great for motivating you and inspiring you to um, sew some lovely things up. But definitely that was the first thing I was drawn to in the store. I love this, but uh, the silks are absolutely magic in there. Uh, really, really beautiful. And you want to kind of touch everything that you see. Um, but yeah, I loved how welcoming and warm the store was. And I can really uh, highly suggest popping in there just even for a visit and saying hi to the girls there. Next was one that I straight away saw. Uh, it's, it reminds me of almost like it's a boucle and it's not quite boucle, but it's a knit. It has got a self striping through it, almost like a zigzag. And this straight away, I thought I could see a short sleeve top. Um, and now I think it's the Amara vest from uh, Tazuti Patterns with a like a high neck uh, skivvy, like a rust color underneath or even a black, uh, even to be worn over a simple black uh, dress, like a long sleeve dress. 
Uh, I just think that uh, that knit is really stunning and cozy and warm, but not thick and annoying because I just don't like wearing thick um, cable kind of jumpers. I find them very overwhelming. I get very warm. I like, I prefer to layer, but this I think would be beautiful in a cardigan as well. There's just so much, uh, even a knit dress, I think it would come up really stunning. So I'll show you up close that fabric as well. But the colors are just gorgeous. And I do love in the store how everything is color coordinated. It's just set out so beautifully. You've got all your knits together. You've got your baubles together. You've got your silks. You've got your dressy things like your laces. And they've got a fantastic range of buttons and threads at the back of the store and zips and notions. So you can really have a ball in there. And I love the fact that they do sewing classes as well. You really need to get in quick for those. Now you can book in online to do those sewing classes, but you must be very quick because they sell out way, way ahead of time. Um, it's one of those things that um, you need to do once in your lifetime, I think. Um, and you can take your own project as well if you prefer just to go and meet up with people to learn to sew, take what you've got and you can um, yeah, go and meet up with like-minded sewers in a beautiful environment there to Zooty Fabrics. So I hope you enjoyed that today. I hope you've uh, loved looking a little bit at the city and I hope wherever you are in the world there that you are entering your sort of out of lockdown and be able to um, really appreciate a bit of freedom again and it really does make you see your city and your town in you know, different eyes when you have had such a long lockdown previous year to be able to do that physical shopping. There's nothing like uh, being able to look and look at colors and touch and see the, the way things drape and also to have that personal contact with um, some wonderful shop assistants there to actually help you. I think we've really missed out on that in the past year. It has also made me appreciate some fantastic online fabric stores and you know Chizuti is also online. I have a great service there for purchasing all their fabrics as well but it is wonderful to to go in and see uh, the fabrics there in real life and just appreciate all they have to offer if you've enjoyed that today i would really appreciate it if you could give the episode a thumbs up and not to forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted you'll be emailed when my new episodes are uploaded and that's hopefully usually twice a week at the moment um, hopefully that's giving you enough inspiration and keeping you all busy i will catch up with you very shortly for a new episode in the meantime take care happy sewing and bye for now